Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. Today is going to be an empties. I have not filmed an empties in over two months. I actually haven't filmed any videos in two months. I'm hoping to get quite a few done today though, but this is the first one. Um, I have a lot of stuff here. Like, it was just on my desk and I'm just really happy to be able to put it in the garbage because it's just been sitting there. So this is totally at random. I have not looked um so i'm just gonna get started on whatever um the first one is a bath and body works japanese cherry blossom i decided to get the japanese cherry blossom in the antibacterial because i feel like everyone hates this smell or they love it so i felt like well a safe product to try the scent in would be a packet pocket back because it's not very big and you can't really go wrong with hand sanitizer. Like I've never had to use a hand sanitizer that I dread using. So I felt like this was safe and it was just okay if I got it as a gift. Would I use it? Yes. But would I go and seek it out? No. Okay, so next is a Bath and Body Works uh, Maui Ming Mango Mai Tai. Um, this was okay. Um, kind of like the same, like the hand soap. Like I didn't care for it much, but if I got it, I would use it. But I wouldn't go out looking for it. Um, like if it was really, really cheap, I'd, I'd purchase it. Um, it wasn't bad. And you know what? I know I have this really bad habit of smacking my lips, and I had no idea I ever had this habit until I started doing YouTube videos, and I thought it was because of my braces. See, I want to do it right there, but I have had, I had, took, I got my braces off like maybe a month ago, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. This is my first video without braces, but you guys will probably see videos with my braces on because I have, I didn't even have time to edit. I just got really overwhelmed with school. Um, to get my certified personal training. So, um, yeah, you probably see old videos, so hopefully you guys are okay with that. Okay, continue on with the stuff. Um, this is a Sleep Lavender Vanilla from Bath & Body Works. Um, how much did they sell these for? I want to say, it says $10 here. So, from now on, when I have a free $10 purchase or $14, $15 purchase, I'm going to start getting these because I always go get a lotion or a body wash, but I don't know why because those go on sale, you know, frequently. And these, I feel like room therapy never goes on sale, so I'm going to start getting these. Um, I don't really care for the lavender vanilla, but dogs like vanilla, dogs like lavender. So I'm going to start getting this for my dog, um, so I would repurchase this and they last forever. I still have a stress relief a eucalyptus ferment that I like. This one has been in my empties the longest because it's actually in my last empties, but um, I forgot it. I forgot to mention it. So this is the Tom's um, toothpaste. It is a vegan product, so I like that, obviously. Um, definitely want to pick it up again, but I always get free toothpaste at the dentist. So once I need a new one, I'll probably go back to this. Um, if you really like that extra fresh minty scent, this probably won't be for you, even though it says clean mint. It's not very powerful on the scents like Aquafresh or Colgate is. So if you want to get away from a minty scent, you should try this. Next is actually not a uh, lip product. It's not a lip product. It's not an empty product, but it's old, and I just, you know, I'm a always wanting to declutter. It smells very, very nice, but I don't feel like it did anything for my lips. It's pretty old, um, so it's just time to get rid of it because I ain't trying to catch any bacteria diseases or anything. Okay, so I have a ton of candles. Um, I started, I think I, a lot of these I burned before started, right when it started getting cold, so I got really into the candles. Um, so this is an oh, uh, hot cocoa and cream. And I very much enjoyed this scent, um, but the scent started going away like halfway, um, and so I melted it at this point, which is unfortunate, but I love the scent so much, I'd be willing to put up with it again at the $8.50 candle sale. I hope that's the price this year. So, it just smells like coffee. It smells more like coffee than, um hot chocolate when it's burning so I did enjoy this very much and I would repurchase next is a summery scent this is blue ocean waves and it did okay it's a bathroom scent I will be repurposing um, the jar uh, would I repurchase yeah maybe you know when I need a scent for the bathroom in the summertime it was not bad um next is stress relief 
And I buy these all the time because they perform pretty well. Um, and I love the scent. And I think it's a good one for gifting people. Um, it's not too overwhelming, but it performs pretty well. So would I repurchase this? Yes, but the performance wasn't as good as it usually is. It did start to, um, what is it called? When the, it's not tunneling. Puny wig syndrome. See, this is how much my life was taken over by school because I usually um, will take these stickers off and like save them in my journal or like my scrapbook because I'm like that into it. And I went to go put it in the recycling and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to take all the stickers off of these things for my last empty. And then I was like, no, I don't have time for that these days. But uh, yeah, I probably will now that I'm not super overwhelmed with school. So this next one is Winter Candy Apple. Um, I know that's kind of weird to finish a Christmas scent right now, but I did. Um, I can burn this anytime. I honestly don't remember even why this is broken, but obviously it was me. I don't know. I probably just knocked it over, but yeah, I would repurchase Winter Candy Apple, and it looks like um, it did get, did it get puny wigs? I have no idea what's going on with this, but would I repurchase Winter Candy Apple? Yes, I would. Sorry if I don't remember exactly how I like these because it's been a while since these okay so caramel pumpkin swirl amazing 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 scent um again it didn't start perform. it started getting puny wigs halfway so i learned a trick because i have more new from um candles from this fall season um so once you get just before the halfway point do not trim your wicks okay so if you start trimming your wicks when it's Okay, sorry guys, my camera ran out of memory. I got another six minutes. So, yes, the trick is do not um, cut them uh, right before they go halfway because then they won't be such Pinewick syndrome. I have that with my marshmallow fireside and my leaves candle. So they are getting Pinewick syndrome, but at least their scent throw is decent. So I keep buying them. Um, and then the last candle, I believe, oh no, I have another one in the other bag, um, is a stress relief. I don't know why the sticker is off, um, but that's so odd. Why is the sticker off? I really have no idea. Um, but yeah, I'll probably repurchase this one too because I guess my sister makes Christmas gifts, so since it's green, I should probably repurpose this one for her. Um, but yeah, stress relief, um, it's always good. Um, apparently, it got puny wick because I started melting at this point. So, um yeah i have a few of the fall candles like the marshmallow flower side and the leaves that i might start um melting early just because it, i don't really want to deal with like cotton balling the candles and stuff like that so we'll see how they do on the melter when there's still half of it left so it's unfortunate but i like the fall scent so much so i put up with it okay so it's been so long that i actually have two epsom salt bags you guys know i always have one because i'm always injured i'm always sore and i'm training hopefully you guys can see it in my face because i see it right now not that i'm trying to sound cocky but i don't know i'm kind of proud of myself because i look a little different than last time i was filming but anyway um, so Epsom salt, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is just the generic one from Kmart, I believe, and Epsom salt, Epsom salt, as I'm starting to learn, um, there are certain scents that I like, I just change it up, I haven't found, like, my holy grail Epsom salt, it's just all kind of the same to me, and then a lavender, so if you're exercising or have feet, your feet hurt, your feet are sore, your knee, your knee hurts, um, try Epsom salt baths, your back hurts, um, it's really helped me throughout, you know, my car accident injury and, you know, training now, so I recommend that to you. Okay, so Coastal Linen, this is a Target candle, um, so these tunnel, but I accidentally left this on overnight, um, and the tunneling evened out like it was already it was like halfway and like half of it was tunneled but I have to actually accidentally left it on overnight so it um evened out and it's a good uh, bathroom scent would I repurchase it no it's nothing special um the scent throw scent power was probably a five out of no it's about a I'd say a three out of five so would I repurchase that no because I don't really like the scent that much um, let's see. So, Fiji White Sands. This is a hand soap. Um, I did like this at first. Um, it's a good summer scent. I may go back to it next year. I do remember use um, really enjoying it, um, this last summer. So, um, 
yeah, maybe I'll repurchase this one. But I, I'm not so in love with Summer Scents. I usually pick different stuff. So I had these two hand soaps in the candle last year. So I tried them in the hand soap this year. So I just always change it up. I had to really, really like it if I repurchase the same thing. Um, okay, so this is random. This is a piercing um, uh, thing ear for ear care when you go to those, you know, fancy piercing places. Um... So, oh, I got my tattoo last time I filmed, too. So I'm thinking about getting the industrial blower again. Um, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I might get that. And I might get microdermals. But this is so totally random. I don't even know why I put that in there. But I used it up. Next is, I've had these forever, too. Pacifica makeup wipes. These are vegan, so that's why I try these out. Um, they're okay. Um, I apparently don't like the smell of cactus water very much. I don't like the scent of any of the Pacifica ones, which is unfortunate because I wish I liked them. So they're worth my money, but I was not a fan. Um, it cleaned my face though, so if you like this scent, uh, I would recommend them, but I did not. Um, next is a Listerine. I know. I put the most random things in here. Um, I have the most random thing of all here in a second. You guys will laugh at me. But anyway, Listerine. I got this from the uh, dentist. Um, it was fine. Okay, so these next three products are um, proactive. And they're all expired from 2015, mostly. And from this year. Um, so I had problems with my skin. Um... It's cystic acne, so like no matter what I use, I'm gonna have really nasty, can't, won't pop bumps on my face. Um, but these are expired, so there's really no purpose in me keeping them. But I actually finished two products um, in the same empties, but they were not done at the same time. Once I, I wanted to get rid of this one just because it's the oldest one in summertime, and I just don't want to have a shower gel that I don't like very much still in my closet. So I made an effort to use this up. And then um, uh, the lotion was maybe about like right here. So like might as well finish that up. So I had these. Would I repurchase? No. If I was gifted them, I'd probably exchange them because <laughs> they're not all that great. Not to sound like rude, but I didn't. I definitely wouldn't like it enough to go to it again. So okay. So this is a really, really random thing that um, I'm sharing with you guys. Hopefully I don't get cut off again. But they're shoes, okay? And after being injured for a long time and being in therapies for a long time and now being a personal trainer, I have learned about a lot about shoes and feet and support. So once your shoes are like donezo, just invest in a new pair and don't wear these to work out in. These are fine for streetwear, but get yourself a pair of shoes that supports your feet, okay? Okay, you guys, so this is the pair of shoes I have. They're just the Brooks um, GTS 1.7 or 17. Um, so I don't really like flashy things, but these are just gonna give you the best support and you have to start think from the bottom up with your feet. Like, if you don't have good support from your base of your body, you're just prone to hurting yourself or and, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, these, oh my gosh, I was prolonging these. I was wearing these for way too long. If your feet start to hurt, like I know I try to be a minimalist, but that's something I think it's okay to not be silly about. And I was silly about it during the summer and I kept wearing these when I shouldn't have and they were hurting my feet and they were hurting my body. So um, yeah, I am <laughs> wanting to I, I throw these out and then I was like, oh, I could put that in my empties because a lot of people don't know that shoes expire and that is something you should invest in. It's so important. I mean, you're on your feet all day at least most people are so um just be careful with that okay so um that is my empties i feel so excited to be filming again um so my channel is gonna change a little bit um i will still have bath and body work stuff because you guys know i'm addicted and i have a problem so um there's will still will be more of that um obviously my vlogs from over a year ago are gonna start showing up again so i'm thinking i'm gonna make <sighs> so i don't want to scare everyone away with the vlogs because i have a lot of footage and it's been quite a journey if you've been here this long um so i don't want people to run away because i have vlogs from a year ago um 
So I'm thinking like maybe if I make the month of November 2016 to one 45 minute vlog, if that's okay. But at the same time, I feel bad for the people that, for like two people that watch those. Um, I feel bad because those are really long. But I don't know, if you have a suggestion, let me know. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get back into YouTube. I might go back to school to get another certification um, for correctional exercise because the reason I did get into personal training is because I was injured for so long, um, uh, you know, because of my car accident and um, just learning everything that I learned about the human body. I was like, oh my God, like, I need to tell everyone about this. So my main my main dream goal is to work with people with injuries. So hopefully I work in a clinical setting or people from the medical field can just refer uh, their patients to me um, because, um, yeah, it's just, I just know I'm in this for the right reasons. And I originally went to college to help in human services and help people that way because I struggled like as a child and like resources and social work and all that stuff. So I went, I went to school for that. There's no, no one is hiring social workers, at least in my state that I live in. Um, everyone I graduated with, they don't, we're not working in the field. So, you know, all this stuff happened for a reason and now I found um, another passion, another way of helping people, which is through injury and sure, losing weight too, because obviously I've had my own little journey. So I still weigh about the same. So if you are in your weight loss journey and you're weighing the same, but you feel better, you're your jeans are fitting better. Don't let that discourage you because I am way smaller than before and I weigh the same. That's because I've been working on my muscles. So, um, yeah. If you have any questions um, or any help, let me know. Um, I do need to get my liability insurance so before I could help anyone online I need to get that but if you just want general information um, I can do that I will be doing some workout videos and more fitness related stuff um, so hopefully you guys are around for that and if my other old videos become privated for a little bit it is because no one knows I have a YouTube channel, but I know now that I'm back on Facebook that my family's going to see my old YouTube videos, and I'm just kind of embarrassed about that. And I know you shouldn't, like, be embarrassed about your past or, like, whatever. Like, everyone gets started, but maybe just for a little bit, I'll private all the old videos, like Bath and Body Works and stuff, because it's a little, <clears throat> you know, I'm kind of embarrassed. But, um, yeah, so don't worry. I'll still have more Bath and Body Works stuff, but also fitness stuff, so... I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching this video. <laughs> this is first video I'm filming. I'm gonna do a Bath and Body Works soap Paul, a protein, a couple protein videos. Um, and I think that's it for today and I'm excited and hopefully I can get a lot of YouTube stuff done before I go back to school to learn correctional exercise. So I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys later. Bye!